Hey friends, today we're talking about potentially raising your prices. Maybe you've already decided to raise your prices, but you're still building the confidence to do it. Maybe you're not sure if it's quite time. So here are three signs that it's time to evaluate raising your prices. So let's get to them. The first one is you have a client flow, a client map, some people call it a sales funnel, laid out and it's working. Maybe it's not working as much as you'd like, maybe it's not perfectly streamlined, maybe you're not fully booked, but it's flowing. You're signing clients and you kind of have an idea of how you're signing them. You know the journey of how you take people from free to paid. If you don't already know or if you want to streamline it, you can get my client map freebie at annafranson.com slash map, but if it's already working, that's a good sign. That's number one. Number two, if you have pricing alignment. This means you know what all your offers are and they kind of work together. They don't compete with each other. You don't have too many offers. You have a few powerful offers and your prices align and they complement each other. So they're not um, completely different. It's good to think through, okay, what hourly rate am I charging? Even if you're not telling your audience this, just behind the scenes, you know, and it's reflected in each of your packages that they're all aligned and that they all build on each other. When someone's ready to work with you, we don't want them to have decision fatigue, right? We don't want them to be overwhelmed with like, what package do I, what package do I buy? If they're resonating with you, if they're resonating with your work, we want it to be super simple for them to know how to work with you in a paid capacity because you're the expert, right? You're the one that has experience getting people results. And so you're the one that should tell them, hey, if you want to work with me and this is where you're at, this is what I think would benefit you, right? Three months of one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or six months of a group program. Um, but get really clear and put yourself in those expert shoes and realize that you know what they need to get those results, right? Um, so making sure that your pricing and your offers are aligned. If you're like, check, Anna, that's number two. Number three is knowing your fully booked number, knowing what that looks like. And this probably means that you'll have to dive into your calendar, look at your availability and decide what does fully booked look like for you. Maybe it's a full group program plus three one-on-one -on -one clients, right? Whatever that combo is, knowing it. Of course, when you get there, you can always change your mind. You can always shift it. But I want you to literally have it written down somewhere and have it really clear. Do you have to be fully booked to raise your prices? No, but I think you should know that number. And also what you can do too, is you can decide, you know what, my map is slowing, my prices are aligned. I wanna sign two more clients at this price point and then I wanna bump it up, right? Maybe it's not quite fully booked. Maybe you need four people to be fully booked and you decide I'm gonna sign three more people at this price point. Um, but knowing those numbers so that you can communicate it, right? This is the beauty. When you know what it is to be fully booked, when you know what it is till you raise your prices, it's so important that you communicate that to your audience. And that's not spammy, that's super valuable, right? Letting the people know that are on the fence, hey, if you're gonna hop off the fence and work with me, now is the time to do it, right? It is a gift. And the people that are thinking about working with you, they want to know, and you don't want them to miss that news. And so make sure you let your social media, your email list, everyone know. So now that you know those three things, and maybe you're like, dang it, check mark, check mark, check mark, I guess it's time to raise my prices. I wanted to talk about a few things that might be holding you back. And the first thing is just confidence, right? A lot of people lack confidence, especially if you're shifting out of more of like a done for you service into coaching or something that feels um, really aligned with your heart. Usually you're stepping into um, something that feels like vulnerable, right? Like I'm giving, I'm giving my best, right? I really am passionate about this work. I really care. You may have just shifted into um, a new business or a new offer. And a lot of times there's confidence, right? We're working on our confidence and we're working at knowing like, can I really get paid for what I love to do, right? Can I really deliver value, right? Can I give my clients a good value for what they're paying. And that's a good problem. That's a heart-centered problem, right? You want to deliver and serve well, but my guess is look at your track record at every level, right? In your past niche, in your past business, at other price points, in other jobs, in your day job, my guess is that you showed up and you delivered, right? You probably over-delivered. And so trust yourself and know that at this new price point, you'll be able to deliver too. And if there's any other confidence things holding you back, Get that space, safe space to process through it, right? Journal on it. Um, let's see. The other thing I want to talk about that holds some people back is thinking that bonuses or incentives are spammy, right? I talked about if you know you've got two more spaces left till you're fully booked, talking about it, right? Sometimes 
it feels a little bit spammy to give bonuses or incentives or a lot of times um, for people that sign up for like a group program that I have, I'll throw in an extra one-on-one session, right? And I personally don't think that incentives are spammy. Some some things feel off to me. For example, like on discovery calls, it doesn't feel aligned to me to offer a bonus for someone to sign on a sales call with me because I want them to um, make the decision from a really grounded space. Um, but I'm not saying that's a bad strategy. It's not a strategy that aligns with me. So pick obviously incentives that work for you. But I think as humans, we need incentives, right? We're busy. Like, I don't know about you, but I'm busy this summer. There's a lot going on. And so I appreciate when someone tells me, oh, you've got 24 hours left to make a decision, right? You're not forcing them to make the decision to work with you, but you're giving them an incentive to decide one way or the other, right? Maybe they'll decide no, but you're giving them that incentive to decide now, right? You're making it a bumping up the priority of the decision. So I think including bonuses, including um, like a price discount, depending on when they purchase, um, and also letting things apply. So what I especially did at the start of my coaching with my one-on-one stuff, if someone did an intensive with me and then would sign on to a bigger one-on-one package, I would imply, apply that investment to the bigger package. Um, I wouldn't do, because my bigger package included an intensive, and so they wouldn't get the intensive twice, but they were able to apply that investment if in, the, in those 72 hours they decided to do that bigger package. Does that make sense? So to the answer, to the question, are bonuses incentive spammy? I don't think they are. I think they prioritize the decision for your dreamy clients, right? And thinking too, like, not gonna how I, not just like, how can I create more, right? We don't wanna create overwhelm for your ideal clients, but how can I, um, create a bonus that would supplement that work, right? So if you have a course, how can your bonus prepare them well for that course, right? Not just give them more information or more things to do. So those are the three things, um, plus two little tips um, if you're working on that transition. Um, But I hope this was helpful for you. I wanted to remind you too that my fall mastermind is starting in September, but I have a bonus going on right now. Um, if you sign early, I'm doing a bonus one-on-one um, intensive session with me where we can focus on something that's getting you stuck for momentum right now. So my mastermind is for women that aren't new in their business, that have a business foundation, have some client flow, but are looking to really turn up the volume on clients that they're welcoming and looking on streamlining that client flow process and starting to leverage and streamline. Um, to prepare for scaling their business. Um, So it starts this fall, but I'm doing a bonus session. If there's something that's keeping you stuck, right? Maybe you're trying to figure out, should I bump my prices? And if so, when, right? Or should I shift? Or should I change my offer? Or, um, you know, I don't know what to do for my visibility plan. Um, I'm trying to figure out content in this new season. I would love to partner with you in a one-on-one session and give you support even before we meet in the mastermind. So I'm going to give you the link for a discovery call if you want to connect with me one-on-one and have support around making the decision. Um, And I'll also include the link for the PDF for the Momentum Mastermind. It's one-on-one support and sisterhood support with women that are all in the same chapter of business that you're in. Um, But I'm so, so excited to dive in with this round of women. Um, And I hope this was helpful.